This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store's Supervisor Training Program. This program is designed to help you groom your best employees for the next step in their career development. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. Steve and I just got back from a vacation in Jamaica where we celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. I was really determined to have an anniversary celebration that felt like a honeymoon. And the reason I wanted to do that was because Steve and I never got a honeymoon when we got married. There were several reasons for that. First among them is the fact that we were in the startup phase of our business. Plus, I was still working full time, and we just didn't think we could pull it off. Unfortunately, we didn't have the money nor the time to be able to celebrate our new marriage. What happened right from the start is we let our cleaning business run us. Not only did we miss getting a honeymoon, we missed out on years of family celebrations, holidays, and vacations. And the worst thing that happened because our business was basically running our lives is that Steve wasn't able to travel travel with me back to our hometown when my mother died unexpectedly. Now this is something I know still bothers him to this day and after that painful time I vowed never to let our business dictate our personal life again. So after about eight years of never taking a vacation other than to travel home a couple of times to visit family, we finally decided to take a real vacation and what a difference it made in the outlook in our business and our overall attitude. What we realized is that our business didn't fall apart and our clients were very understanding when we told them we would be on vacation the following week. The other benefit that we've had from unplugging from the business for a few days is that we've come up with some of our best ideas when we take time off. When we're so busy running the day-to-day -day of, of our business, we often don't take the time that we need to brainstorm new ideas that will help move our business forward and keep us competitive. So when driving in the car to our destination or on the flight to the convention, we take out a notebook and jot down our ideas so we can work on implementation when we get back. So what I'd like to do next is share two tips for taking time off that will really help to recharge your batteries. The first tip is to think about an activity that you really love, then spend your time doing that while on vacation. Too often, we forget about the things we enjoy doing, and before you know it, years have passed and you've forgotten all about the things that used to give you joy. Steve spent most of his time in the water snorkeling, something he just loves to do. I could have sworn he was starting to grow gills because he spent so much time in the water, but he was so happy and it was great for me to see the fun he was having. Now for those of you who work with your spouse like we do, after so many years, if you're running the business together, you start to think of yourselves more as business partners than a married couple. And that can be dangerous for your relationship. So this past week, we learned how to reconnect as a couple. So I encourage you to do the same. Put the business aside for a few days and get back to rediscovering what you love about each other. Now, many of you may be thinking at this point, well, that's great, but how do I actually take time off without things coming apart at the seams? Every time I take even one night off, it seems like some disaster happens that pulls me back in. And that's a very valid point. And I'm not gonna stand here and tell you to just walk away from your business to take a vacation. It takes a lot of planning to pull it off, especially in the beginning if you're managing it by yourself. So the first thing you want to do is start taking maybe 15 to 30 minutes a day to write down some of the most important systems that your employees would need to know while you're gone. For example, what procedure should they follow if one of your accounts runs out of any cleaning supplies? Do they call up your supplier to have it delivered? Do they run over and pick it up the next day? How do they pay for it? Another example would be to let them know what questions they should ask if a customer calls to complain that something didn't get done the night before. The more systems you can put into place for your employees, the better. Then all they have to do is refer to your procedures in order to make the best decisions. The next thing you need to do is start grooming your best people to handle things in your absence. When we took our first vacation, we didn't have an operations manager to run things, but we did have two dependable supervisors. 
We had a meeting before we left and went through who was responsible for what and also discussed some common scenarios that they might have to deal with in our absence. And be sure to talk to your clients before you go. Tell them what you're doing and that you won't be and the days that you won't be available. Then give them the cell phone, <clears throat> cell phone number of the person you've assigned to make sure they have a contact person should they need anything. If it's your supervisor, chances are they already have a good relationship with that person and you can and they'll probably tell you to go ahead and enjoy your vacation. So for those of you who have put your personal life on hold so your business can run your life, I strongly encourage you to rethink your situation. Steve and I don't want you to do like we did and let the business run you. Turn the tables on your business and take charge so you can not only have a successful business, but a successful and enjoyable personal life too. That's it for today's show. If you are ready to take control of your business, then one of the first steps is to groom your best employees to take over the day-to-day -day cleaning operations. The Janitorial Supervisor Training Program provides practical training for developing supervisory skills. For more information, check the links below this video. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time. <music>